Welcome back to Outer Worlds. Hopefully this is the last episode. Let's do it. I would very much like this to be the last episode. I very much liked the second to last episode to have been the last episode. But here we are. Let this be done. Let it end. Like, I wanted there to be a lot more to this game, but by more, I meant, like, more diversity. Because there's not enough diversity in this game, you know? Not enough diversity. Not enough female protagonists in this game. Not, like, not, not enough... <laughs> no, you know what I mean. There's not enough variety in this. There's not enough variety in armor and weapons and locations. It's been so long, just in one fucking section. You kidding me? Is this all it is? Really? <laughs> Ellie's dead. Of course she's dead. Why wouldn't she die from fucking grunts we've been fighting the entire game? Uh, diversity in enemies! Diversity in enemies. How about the main, like, type of armor you find being just palette swaps of the corporate armor suits? Which is beyond fucking boring. Like, they didn't really look attractive to begin with. They don't look all that much more attractive in neon colors and hot pink. Goddamn idiots. Neo is way better at than that. Like, Neo did loot really well, but... Trade that off for... It's tedious as fuck inventory management. And that that's at least partly... That, uh, so, you at least spend, like, a few minutes, like, af after you've done, like, two or three missions... Like, sorting through the shit you want to keep, what you want to sell, what you want to disassemble, all that stuff. But then, you know, you can't really talk over that, right? Like, I don't know about you, or, you know, other, other people who record their playthroughs of these games, but I have nothing to say about that, like... Don't die, Ellie, you dumb fuck. Oh my god, they both died. They both fucking died. Why they both fucking die? Why is the arc cannon good when they use it, not when I use it? Why do they got 30 times as much health as me? It's a mystery. That was meant to be a Neo 2 reference. Neo reference. Dark Souls reference. Pardon me. You know what? Since Pravati again just insists, you know, it wasn't even Pravati who died last time. It was just Ellie. Fuck it. I can't win. I just can't win. I know I have the sniper, and I'm supposed to be playing as like the sniper role, but you know it's just not happening because for whatever fucking reason, I stopped being able to do headshots a while ago. Like, I crouch, I turn on TTD, and I hit him in the head, and... I even got the sublight sniper rifle.
But you know what? Fine. Let's just try it again. I can take a hint. See, that wasn't lethal. What was that? That wasn't even half his health. Why are you he over here? Why, Ellie? Ellie! Over here! Why? Why? I was pressing the wrong button is what I was doing. I was pressing up on the D-pad. I was supposed to be pressing down on the D-pad. Press the wrong fucking button. Great. I want to move on with my life. Want to move on. I'm so done. Like, if this game sends me to another place... Like, is... I don't want to go anywhere else after this. I want this to be the last location I go to. And why wouldn't it be? Drag me all over the place, multiple times, back and forth to places I've already been to. Just want to be done. Just want to be done. And yeah, that was just kind of a case in point right there. Like, that was a headshot crouched in TTD, and it did not kill. There we go. Wow, not even a threat. Somehow that didn't aggro. Remarkable. That hurt. That damaged me so quickly. Oh my fucking god. That even triggered my auto life recovery thing, too. Why does the arc cannon do so much more damage to me than everyone else? That's not fair. You can increase the difficulty without making it an unfair thing. Is that something people, like, not process? The difficulty and unfairness is, is not, like, a sliding scale between the two? You can have something that's easy and unfair. You can also have something that's difficult and fair. Gotta get this art guy. Stop, 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 stop. Fuck! I can't even unscope fast enough!
This is not a good experience to go out with with this game. Like, I, I was already feeling, like, not so positive vibes towards it by the end here. But now, that's just, I mean, this is all like I'm confirming it. The same shit just bugs the shit out of me. And again, more than likely would not be the case if I was playing on normal difficulty. But I'm not. And too late to change it now. And even if I could change it, not going to change it. The whole reason I'm still doing this. I've come this far. I might as well see it through to the end. But for fuck's sakes, do I not want to. Going. Heal, 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 heal. Motherfucker! Where is Arc Cannon Guy? Stun that motherfucking cunt. Finally, God. Universal Defense Logistics official arrest receipt. As per official arrest protocol outlined in the defense logistic and incarceration document, blah, 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 the individual has been detained at this location must appear in an official halcyon court at the appointed date and time with this paperwork in order to register that they are indeed properly arrested for crimes listed under their name. Failure to appear at the appointed date and time with this paperwork will result in additional late fees and the rescheduling of the prisoner's appointed incarceratious registration date. Failure to appear at subsequent court dates may incur additional fees. Halcyon Court is not responsible for missed appointments that are a consequence of being held within a locked cell or other high security containment location. Please note that this is the only copy of this receipt that you will receive and that it is your responsibility to have it with you when you appear for your registration session. Oh, that's nice. I love that.
Okay. Can we finally go back here? How do we get through here? Where's the door in here? Oh, here it is. Contingency plan uh, published in the last will and testament success. Hack 85 bypass. I don't have a hack 85. Simple enough. Finn's Force. That looks like a gun. Fun Times Barrel, Mag 2 Ray. Okay. Level 26. It's much weaker, but then again, it reduces damage substantially. Another complaints I have about this game is I wish the uh, I wish they would explain what the unique weapons actually motherfucking do. And by that I mean they usually have like different fire rates or unique effects, but then they don't say what those unique effects are like at all. Is the quest objective genuinely to bypass a hack 85 terminal? What if I can't do that? Do I gotta find like a hack, uh, a, like credentials, like login somewhere in his room? The update definitely added some of these more uh, nicer sound effects and stuff. If he's sending a transmission screaming about corporate pigs. Wait a second. That did seem like a weird thing for him to say I should focus on. Ah, uh, there you go. If you are seeing this screen, I, Phineas V. Wells, have been perniciously kidnapped and very probably incarcerated by the perfidious and cowardly governments of Halcyon in the prison fortress of... T oh, that's right. I totally forgot Tartarus is part of this game. If I have not already been executed for charges leveled against me, I hope the person reading this terminal will find a way to finish my work or rescue me, preferably the latter. 
The screen constitutes my last will and testament. I commend my body and my belongings to the icy depths of the ether. If this is agony, I've prepared an emergency care package located in a hidden panel. Unlock the panel from my terminal and claim its contents immediately. You must delete entries from terminal memory. No telling who might be looking. I, I don't really care. They'll never find me. They say I'm a murderer, and they're right. I am. I regret what I've done, but I'm not about to turn myself into the board. Yay, a level up. Joy of joys. Wow. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I swear, if Tartarus is like... Oh my god. Google Tartarus Outer Worlds Map. Motherfucker. I'm not right at the end of the game, am I? I gotta go to the fucking prison planet and shit. Uh, there's like five floors to this thing. Okay, you know... You know... You know... I can just be done with this game. Like, I don't have the patience to finish it, and that's fine. You know, I played this game for a long time. I don't need to play it more. You might as well just consider it abandoned as of three episodes ago. But, you know, here's, here's where I'm going to make it official. I'm just going to stop playing this game. Take your time. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, I, I, I've taken my time with this game. I've taken more than enough time, and I'm not really, really interested in committing more. So, yeah, I'm gonna end off here for good. I'm done playing this game. I do not want to go save Phineas. I don't have the willpower. I don't have the patience. I don't have the interest, the engagement, the investment. I'm just depleted with this game. And I want to move on to other more interesting games. So, this is where I'm going to end it for real this time. Done with the Outer Worlds. Thanks for watching. See you next time.